everyone. Hi, everyone. I am here at my boutique, but I'm working in La Unique Sewing. I just brought it over here because I get more room to record. So today is um, the 3rd of August, 2015, and the time is 8.21 p.m. in the evening. I want to show you some a crochet sweater that I've been um, that I am working on. I started working on this sweater uh, probably like in the late early spring, I think. Um, I kind of freestyle so uh, the sweaters, three sweaters I did uh, last uh, this past winter um, was all freestyle, and I love the way they turned out. And I know if you remember this sweater. Beautiful, right? The back of it. I love it. I was going to make this the back, but I like the statement going in the back of the sweater. And I like the front like that. And the neck so happened to have draped right in the front. And I added, oh, this is freestyle. I start out like I'm knitting a scarf or a finity scarf. And I work from there. Whatever, how I decide to turn out whatever yarn that I want to use, I use. And this sweater, I kind of use all my scrap pieces of yarn. Uh, the little balls of yarn I have left. This is one of my favorites also. You saw this one. And I said, it all started like I'm uh, crocheting a finity scarf and it works out from there. In the back. And I put a little crochet flower right there. And this one was the very first one I crocheted. This is a little more plain. And this has crochet roses with fabric leaves going around it. And sleeves and the back is plain. Uh, three color. Yeah, three color yarn. Now this one right here, totally freestyle, same way, like I'm uh, crocheting a starter, like I'm doing a scarf, and I decide to how I'm going to drape it. Um, and I didn't show you how I did the other two scarves, but this one I'm going to show you how I decided. Like I said, I start out as a, like I'm doing a crochet uh, scarf. And um, I uh, like to uh, half double crochet. That's my favorite stitch. I do other stitches. Usually I do half double crochet because it's more dense. Um, when I want it to be a little more heavier and you can't see through the uh, yarn. So I'm, I'm thinking about I had to crochet this part going across because I'm going to start doing the sleeves. And this part is where I stitch the scarf together to make a finity scarf. But I'm going to go around the sewing, uh, take this yarn out and run the uh, run it under the sewing machine. But I left this little slit in right here. This little slit right here. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm decide I'm debating on if I'm going to make that like a little collar or not. I don't know yet, but I will decide if I'm going to make that a collar or not. Uh, it's going to be like this funky asymmetrical type of sweater. I'm going to keep crocheting around and around to make dome sleeves. Like I did this, and then I'm going to close the sleeve up. I don't know how long I'm going to do the sleeve. Um, this part right here, that I don't know if I'm going to leave this like this, just open like this, or I'm going to add a pop of color going round and around. Uh, so we'll see about that. This side right here, I'm going to connect, uh, chain stitch connect, so it can be a sleeve about the same with this one. Um, this, I want the sleeves to be uh, either, I'm going to have, let me bring it up, either I'm going to have uh, one long sleeve or one arm sweater or both of them the same type of uh, sleeves I might just leave this open this back up and have a slit in the sleeve and that's what I might do I might end up doing a slit in the sleeve open this up go round and around and have a slit in the sleeve connect this part at the top this flap connect this have the sleeve long just have a, a slit and maybe one of the sleeves it have to be really unique so I don't know yet if I'm going to do the slit or not 
But this is how I freestyle my sweaters. That, that ends up like this. This is how, this is what I do to make these sweaters. And uh, with all of them, you see has different variations, but I kind of work with like I'm doing a scarf. And I work from there. It's going to be beautiful right now. It don't make any sense. It's going to look like these, similar like these. When it's finished, I'm going to add the pop of color inside. It is going to be beautiful. It's going to be like these sweaters, right? These might be a little larger because I think these are medium and small. But uh, this might be a large. I might make a large sweater, but I'm not going to never make an extra large. I made a 3X shrug like this one. I hate to even show you guys how huge that 3X is. I really don't want... I'm going to show you the 3X. And I'm going to see you all the... Uh, how many stitches to make the 3X. But when I had some of my plus slot, when I go through my shows and I have some of my plus size, let me try on this large shrug. They can't fit it. So I did. I'm stepping off here out of the frame, but I'm going to be right back. This is so big. I don't even know if I want to show you because you can't even see how it's made. Oh, gosh. It need to be on something. Look how big it is. It is huge. It is a three. It, this is a three X. Really? Gosh, it's, it almost makes me see. That's why I don't like. See, I'm not saying that. I don't uh, want to ever make plus size clothing. But when you make plus size clothing, it just has no hanger appeal on it. When you go over a size large. Even 1X. I'm alright with doing a 1X, but once you go over size large, you see how different it look compared to this same exact pattern, but look how tiny it is compared to this uh, medium. Look at that. And look at this. Same exact pattern. Just you. This is the white shrug that some of you guys were asking me about the white shrug and you want to see how it look. This is how it look. I finished this probably like last month or something month, you know something like that and I have the black one that I need to do I need to go back at the blue one I just finished doing the blue one so this I have a 1x I have a 3x a 2x and a 1x so the 1x is I think is over here and the 2x is in black and the 1x is in light blue with three different colors of light blue so that's how that worked out and I also oops, sorry I'm out of frame because my shrug just fell on the floor and I pick it up. I need to put this in plastic because it's white. So um, I'm trying to throw it this huge shrug on this hanger. But I also made a little bitty toddler shrug. So it look it's little, really little. I mean, let me compare it to one of the different ones. See, it's a little bitty kid sweater, like maybe for a five year old or something. A six to seven year old, something like that. And this is a medium compared to that. So, yeah. And I made, I made this one. I, I started to make this one like I was making a, um, I was going to make another uh, a large, but then I just started working on it and I got tired of crocheting. And I said, you know something, I don't have a little kids one. I want to see how the little kids one look. And I have to iron this and stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's how I do my that's how I do. I made a little flower. A little flower to go on the, I'm going to put a little rhinestone or button in the middle to go with the little purple sweater. So is it going to be on a lapel of it? It's gonna be like by right there or something like that. It's gonna have I might do like a ribbon closure or something. I don't know yet. But yeah, I just want to show you guys through this video and show you guys how I do my free form sweaters. And I love, love, love to free form crochet. I actually was I got the yarn, it's a little ball. Let me show you what's left of this color. Just this little ball left. And when I'm running out of this, I'm gonna go to the next color that coordinates with this so um because it, it goes from like 
a tan and an off it's like an off white tan and a beige it's like a tan off white and a beige i might do finish it off with my white i actually will crochet because if i really really want to see how it's going to turn out um i'll crochet some of what's on the mannequin uh the sleeve and then if i see anything i don't like i'm half double crocheting going around and if i don't like um the way it's turning out i just do something different uh take it down and redo whatever area on the sweater that i don't like so, but so far i can see the vision that i wanted for it and i set it down for a while because when i finished the sweater the scarf and I just wanted to crochet and use up all this little balls of yarn. And I said, you know, I, I hate having a whole bunch of little balls of yarn, but I got to get ready for my craft show for next month. And I'm going, I'm going to do craft stuff. Um, I found out what I was doing wrong, and I realized that you know a lot of stuff that I was presenting, I was presenting like I was presenting for a trade show. And it was expensive stuff. My clothing, these sweaters and stuff. People love this stuff, but they were mine, you know. So, um, and if I can't price them too cheap because people think like, what's wrong with the material cheap? No, you know, some of this yarn in here, in here is uh, very expensive. Then I do the Red Heart yarn also, which, you know, that's affordable. But um, it wasn't selling last time I did that. But it was a little craft show, and I should have did craft stuff like little cup uh, uh little cup warmers little some people do the candy wrap thing and they put it in the package they do the little hershey nuggets and they put that in the package they do the notebook pads the notepads and stuff and put the pen and they add the paper they do scrapbooking stuff and they sell all that at craft shows they sell a little uh some crochet items but it's little crochet items but that's that's really cheap hair bowls that's two three dollars or two for five dollars or whatever and i was doing like a whole clothing line you know at a craft show really i'm doing a clothing line at a craft show um or i was doing my expensive um uh, accessories my expensive jewelry accessories instead of doing like the basic beaded wooden jewelry the stack beads and stuff the little like i can do these uh at the craft show let me show you i should i'm gonna put one on i could do these necklaces at the craft show you know it says oops it says peace i could do these things because this one cost me a lot to make i could sell these you know maybe eight dollars for each one of them or something you know something under ten dollars because people sorry for being out of frame people go to craft shows and they're not trying to spend like a hundred dollars on one item you know um they're going there maybe with fifty dollars in their pocket or even twenty five and saying it okay who wants my twenty five who wants my fifty or they spread that throughout the whole place and see whoever book they want to buy stuff from and i did a whole lot of research and i said you know chris you haven't been approaching this totally wrong uh you have not been uh you can put all this work into doing all this elaborate stuff setting up your booth like all beautiful like it's a mini boutique and stuff and you walk away the last two shows you walk away and you didn't sell anything or you sold one thing you didn't even break even and that's become a little discouraging that i was thinking like hey is it me is it me and it was not me it was uh what i was presenting to the people you know the, what what is my demographic who are the people that's coming here what type of people are coming here buying stuff these are people that comes with just you know buying like little uh little cheap gifts or whatever or something that they cost you a lot to make so i have a list of everything that i'm going to do in my next craft show and then i'm going to do the, i want to do the vegas magic trade show i know that's going to cost me a lot of money but i want to do that show and i'm thinking about presenting my either my um either i'm going to present this line of stuff this beautiful line of stuff it this is really pretty i wish subtraction sewing all my dresses that's what i really want to do um or these beautiful sweaters you know i think boutiques will pick this up right yeah so but that's about it i just was talking about what i'm going to crocheting next and i'll talk to you guys soon god bless bye bye